Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about Data Factory in Microsoft Fabric, one of the workloads of Microsoft Fabric. What is Data Factory? What you can do with it? How it relates with other, um, other workloads in the Microsoft Fabric? Let's find that out. Uh, to understand Data Factory, it is best to first understand what is Fabric. Fabric is a Microsoft end-to-end -end software as a service cloud-based data analytics uh, offering. This includes components or we call it workloads, workloads for data integration, for data storage, for data engineering, data warehousing, the BI part of it. For example, the BI part of it is Power BI. Um, and I have explained that in details in another video, what is Fabric in detail, and um, and you can go and check it out. This video in particular is about Data Factory. We won't talk about any demos or anything like that. I would mainly explain what is Data Factory in principles, what it includes. To understand Data Factory, it is best to start with the history of what this is coming from, because Data Factory is the data integration component of Microsoft Fabric. So let's first have a look back at what Microsoft has been done in has been doing in the data integration space. Microsoft had uh, a number of tools and services in the data integration service, and they always been um, in their time. They always been a tool of reference used in many um, different solutions. Uh, it started with SQL Server stored procedures, SQL Server agent jobs, combination of these. Then we had DTS packages, data transformation services, um, and then we had SSIS, which introduced in 2005 version of SQL Server, SQL Server integration services. Uh, still, SSIS is used in many implementation. It is an on-premises integration tool, which is quite powerful. Then when Microsoft started the cloud um, solutions, Azure Data Factory came into place, ADF. Azure Data Factory is more like a data ingestion technology rather than data transformation, but it enables you to do that at scale. And then we also had at the same time Power Query for self-service users in Excel or for data analysts, citizen data analysts in Power BI, uh, which then also had a baby out of it called Power Query Data Flow. So combination of these mean things that Microsoft has been building for a long time to, uh, to offer as a data transformation tools and services. So Data Factory is not a new technology. It is built on basis of two of these. These two are first Power Query. So Power Query, if you are familiar with Power BI, uh, you are familiar with this concept, or if you are coming from Excel side, the same thing. Power Query started with in Excel as a tool called Data Explorer. Soon after a few months, it changed to the name of Power Query. Power Query is a self-service data transformation tool. You connect to different data sources, you do data transformation. It has a really nice graphical interface that you can use. You don't have to write the code to do the data transformation, but if you want to write the code, it has a M scripting language behind the scene, which you can go and use it. Uh, and then you load data into the destination. The first versions of Power Query, the destination of that was Excel. Then in Power BI, it was Power BI dataset. When um, data flow came in, it was um, the cloud-based Power Query, which first loaded data into Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, and also Dataverse as an option if you use Power Platform data flow. So that started to make Power Query data flows as a as a object by itself, not specifically related to Power BI. Um, so um, we have some implementation that they are using data flows, but not necessarily with Power BI. It might be with Power apps project for data migration or anything like that. It's a powerful tool for data transformation, which is also made available online using the data flows. On the other hand side, we have Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory has been around um, the past few years, and it's a um, ETL on cloud technology. However, the data transformation bits of it is not the most powerful aspect of it. The data uh, 
ingestion part of it and the scalability of that and the monitoring around it. These are the powerful aspects of a data factory. In data factory, you can design a control flow of things, for example, do this data transformation after doing that. If it fails, go and do that. If it uh, was successful, go through a loop for every record in this table, go and do something like that and load the data in different place. Um, you have a really powerful monitoring system. This was part of Microsoft Azure um, offering for a while. Uh, but because the data transformation was not the super powerful part of it, uh, mostly data transformation in data factory, in Azure Data Factory, was done through stored procedures, um, sometimes even writing C sharp code, sometimes data factory was mainly used for data ingestion because you can run it at scale under, um, under powerful compute scenarios. Now, what data factory is, this is the important part, is that the data factory is combination of these two. It's bringing the best of these two words, uh, Power Query Data Flows and Azure Data Factory. So Power Query Data Flows are powerful in data transformation, really simple to use um, application to do data transformation. You can do lots of data transformation with it. On the other hand side, Azure Data Factory, which will bring scalability, the monitoring system, the um, the control flow of execution combination of these two is what build data factory in Microsoft Fabric. So it's going to be an end to end, um, let's say an ultimate um, data integration technology, because now you have the data flow and you have you can embed that inside a, a control flow of execution. Um, so elements of data factory basically are, um, two of them are what you saw already, the data flows and the data pipelines part of the Azure Data Factory, but um, there's another one as well called connector. So when you want to do an ETL, extract, transform, load, part of the work is connecting to a source and um, and because of lots of connectors coming from both Azure Data Factory space and also the Power Query Data Flows space, we have a lot of connectors that you can connect to them and get data from. Um, some of these connectors are um, like making it available for you to connect to a database system, to a folder, including some files, to text files, to software as a service, for example, connecting to Google Analytics, to Adobe, um, and, and get data from all of these different sources. You can even build your own connector, which is not what we are going to talk about in this, uh, in this video. So connector is one part of this um, data factory. Another part of it is, of course, moving the data, the data flow itself. Data flows, which comes from Power BI data flows, is part of uh, data factory, but this is different from Power BI data flows. Uh, when this came, actually Power BI data flows is now called Gen 1, this is called Gen 2. So Gen 1 data flow is what you see in Power BI data flows or Power Platform data flows. Data flow Gen 2 is what you see in Data Factory. I might do another video later on about the difference in details of this. But one of the big differences, for example, is that here you can have data destination you can have your data loaded into uh, for destination at the moment, at the time of recording this video, available Lake House, Data Warehouse, Azure SQL Database, and Custo uh, Azure um, Data Explorer. So you can have these destinations, but I believe more destination would come in the future. The other thing is that data flow is is a really easy to use um, environment. You use the Power Query Editor online. Uh, it has a really nice graphical uh, option to go and build your query. You'll see a diagram of the queries. You'll see a preview of the data. You apply steps. Most of those steps, you have a really good user interface for that, which you go and apply it. But if you ever need to go um, into more, let's say, advanced, uh, scenarios of that, you can go to the scripting side of Dataflow and write Power Query a script, which is called M. As I said, this is not a video um, going into the details of that. I have a different video about data flows in, uh, in Data Factory. Go and check it out. Uh, the next component of um, Data Factory, so we had connectors, we had the uh, data flows and the next one is data pipeline. So data pipeline is uh, where you can define a group of 
tasks, we call it activities, a group of activities together, you define a flow of things. For example, if this first activity was successful, go and do the second one or go and do a loop until this is um, the status of this variable has changed. So you build actually a flow of execution, something like Power Automate, if you are familiar with uh, with uh, more power platform area. But this is uh, this has some tasks and activities specifically related to data movement, such as copy data, which you can do that at scale with a really powerful compute behind the scene. It also brings some monitoring around it. You can see the execution of it. You'll schedule your, um, your pipeline. And one of the interesting thing in that pipeline is that you can run a data flow or you can execute a data flow. So that data flow that is responsible for get data, transform it and load it into a destination, that ETL process can be a, a task or an activity inside your data pipeline. So data pipeline would be like a wrapper around that data flow and you can have multiple data flows. Um, so that data pipeline would build your um, overall execution of the ETL job that runs overnight or every three hours or whatever, and each data flow would be responsible for doing the transformation. Together, these two actually build a, a full ETL solution because data flow by itself doesn't have those control flow elements and scalability. And on the other hand side, data pipeline has a scalability and data flow elements, but it uh, and, and the control flow elements, but it doesn't have a powerful data transformation engine. Now you can combine these two, have your copy data to ingest huge amount of data at first step, the second step, have a data flow that does the transformation of it, and then have some other tasks around it to build your control flow. There are lots of different scenarios that you can go through that. So in nutshell, Data Factory is the data integration component or workload of Microsoft Fabric. It is combined version of Power Query Data Flows and Azure Data Factory. It brings best of these two worlds together. Using this, you wouldn't need any other um, data transformation tools or services. Using Data Factory, you should be able to build your um, data transformation in details. I have separate videos on each of these on power on, on the data flows and data pipelines. So make sure to go and check those out. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and of course, Fabric. Until the next video, bye.